Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to an early morning uh, Friday unboxing. Uh, this is earlier than I normally do these videos, but I've got a pretty full day today of um, folks coming in for shopping appointments and for, hello, how are you? Um, for picking up orders and all the stuff, so I need to get all of this stuff put away. So we're gonna do an early morning uh, unboxing and hopefully this means that some of you that don't catch the ones later in the day can can watch along with us. Hello! Uh, if this is your first time joining me, I try to do these unboxings weekly uh, where I open up the boxes that come into the shop uh, with all of the restock. I show you what's in them and we talk about um, all of the supplies and stuff that are that are in there. So feel free. Hey Jackie, how are you? Feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Um, yeah. And let's get started because there's lots uh, that has arrived. So the first thing um, that we have is we got a really good shipment of the Jessica Long um, Embroidery Companion decks. So good morning, Sharon. Uh, so these, uh, they launched in the shop a couple of weeks ago and the first batch sold out within about five minutes of the newsletter coming out. Um, and then the second batch went just as quickly. So um, this, these were on pre-order for a little bit um, and they're actually here now. So all of the pre-orders um, got shipped out yesterday. And um, if you were wanting one, they're here. Um, if you are not, don't know what these are. So um, these are Jessica's new Embroidery Companion deck cards. She gave me the option this time of switching over to her more eco-friendly packaging with glass sign bags instead of um, plastic bags, and so that's what I opted for. So that's why these look a little bit different than the first batch um, that I got, because I'm always trying to go with the more um, eco-friendly, less plastic option. But uh, what's in here is exactly what was in the, um, the ones that came in the plastic bags. So let's open this up so you can see what comes in here. Um, so number one, you get your deck of cards, which is what um, you really want out of this package. So what this is, is Jessica has designed an embroidery companion deck. So it's basically a stitch guide, but as a set of cards. There are, I think, 30 different stitches in here. One card is a key that teaches you how she set up the, um, the stitches. And then there's one more card that I'm blanking on what it is. But um, basically what it is is on the front, she gives you a photograph of what the embroidery stitch looks like, um, explains different variations, like this is the fly stitch and different ways that you can use it. And then on the back, she has a diagram on how to stitch um, the stitch. She explains it and then if it could get any better, each card has this little QR code on it. If you scan that QR code with your phone, your iPad, it's gonna take you to a video where you can watch Jessica do each stitch. So whether you are, whether you learn better by reading diagrams or you're a video learner, um, these cards really accommodate all sorts of different learning styles, which I think is fantastic. Um, what I'm really excited about doing with these cards is uh, if you have been watching me for a while, you know that I keep um, an embroidery hoop that I've had for years and years where that I use as a practice hoop. And so anytime I wanna learn a new stitch, I grab that hoop, I practice on it. And it's pretty fun because it's kind of nice to see my evolution of stitches over the years. Um, and something like this I think would be super fun for that kind of thing where you just pick a card and this is the stitch that I'm gonna try, couching stitch. <laughs> um, so I think for that kind of thing, it would be really fun. The 100 Ladies Sampler, uh, for working on the dresses when you kind of get stuck and you don't know what stitch to do. I think this would be great inspiration for that. You can kind of flip through, find a stitch that you know might look cute on one of those dresses. Anyway, I think these decks are great. Um, I'm really excited about them. So you get the deck in your pack. Um, you also get, I think, I forget how many, six. Um, sampler ideas where she even gives you color ideas. They're in DMC Floss. If you prefer to use Cosmo, I have the DMC to Cosmo conversion chart um, is on snugglymonkey.com. It's on the, if you head to the blog, it's one of the pinned blog posts at the top um, and you can download the conversion chart from DMC to Cosmo. Um, so she gives you different uh, patterns here. 
stitching ideas on how to use the stitches and then she actually gives you patterns that you can then transfer onto your fabric to use. So you get the deck, um, but you also get lots of different uh, uh, pattern ideas to go with the deck as well. So, um, like I said, the decks are they're here. Um, they are off of pre-order, so you can just grab them if you would like when they are up on the site. So that's what's in this box is lots and lots of those decks. Let's see, the next box over here is from Kohana, um, that wonderful collective of artists in Japan. These are the folks um, that the ever popular mini snips come from. There's all sorts of things in here. These are also the folks that make the little ceramic um, needle sharpeners. Uh, and so this is a magnetic needle sharpener. You can uh, rest your needle on top of here and it'll hold. And then on the side of this, there's a little tiny hole. You put your needle in there and turn it gently, um, and it's gonna sharpen the tip of your needle. So if you are trying to extend the life of your needle um, and use it a little bit longer, these work fantastic for that. That is something that when I first started stitching, I didn't realize how important it is to switch out your needles. Um, it is going to keep your stitches neater. It's also gonna be a lot less stress on your hands because the sharper the needle, the easier it glides through your fabric. As needles get dull, it becomes a little bit harder to get that needle through your fabric. So especially depending on what kind of um, fabric you're stitching through, it becomes easier if you switch out or you try sharpening the tip of your needle. It's gonna make your stitching a lot easier. Um, so these come in three or four different colors. I've got the blue, I've got I was able to get three of the blue this time. Um, these are the mini snips that I've had around forever. Um, and these are just absolutely adorable. They do work. Um, they are about an inch, an inch and a half tall. Um, and they it comes with a little leather uh, cover and the tassel is what changes color. So this is the green color. It also comes in blue, gray, yellow, and pink. Um, and these are very, very cute. They don't have a sharp tip. They are round tipped, um, but they're great to keep in a project bag. Um, they work just like thread snips. So you press on these little pads um, and it cuts through thread, yarn, um, all that stuff really easily. Here is the yellow ones. Everything in here is packaged in these little tiny bags, so I actually don't know what's in each little bag. Um, all right, here is the green needle sharpener. The yellow one is in here. And the white one. So all the colors are back in stock. Um, the white, yellow, and green. I've got about 10 of each of those, but with the blue one, I only have three. Um, and then the last thing that's in these little bags is the, these are fairly new. They came out in December. Kohana has released um, a series of needles. So these are the embroidery needle pack. This is the cross stitch needle pack. And this is the sashiko needle pack. So green is sashiko, blue is embroidery, and um, this kind of pink multicolor one is cross stitch. And what you get in here is uh, you get five needles in each one of these. They are, um, they're made in Japan. They are excellent, excellent quality needles. Um, I've used the Sashiko ones so far and I really, really liked them. Um, I haven't uh, used the embroidery ones or the, uh, the cross stitch ones quite yet, but I was very, very happy with the quality of these. So um, these were sold out and are now back in stock. All right, so that is what is here from Kohana. Next up, we've got um, all sorts of the floss key, uh, floss bobbins. Um, these are the ones that have the little slit in the top where you can slide the number collar from your floss skein onto the top so you don't have to write on them. Um, I also have the regular standard DMC ones. Those had been out of stock for a while, but um, I got a really good shipment of those in, I think, last week. So both styles of plastic bobbins are back in stock. Um, we've got the cross-stitch gauge. If you're not familiar with what this is, 
this helps you if you have a whole stash of Ada or linen and you don't remember what count fabric that is, that's what these gauges help you figure out. These little lines in here let you lay the ruler down on your fabric and then you count um, how many threads are in an inch and that's gonna tell you whether you've got 14 count, 16 count. Um, this side is the Ada side and this side is for linen. So these are have long been very, very popular. We have some Bowen needles, tapestry needles in here. We have the magnetic boards. These are great for holding uh, cross stitch patterns. These little strips are magnetic, so you can put your pattern on here and then line this up uh, on the line that you're working on, that you're stitching. So it'll help you keep track of the line that you are working on. And, um, and it because it's magnetic, it, the pattern attaches onto here. It's a pretty good size. It's about five by seven. Um, so it fits pretty easily inside of a, you know, a good size project bag. Um, if you would like to take that with you. The ever popular uh, super sharp tweezers. This is something that I always, always keep in stock because it's one of my favorite uh, notions. So these are back. We've got some of the um, Easy Count. So a lot of this is kind of cross stitch stuff. The Easy Count guideline. If you like gritting out your um, Ada or linen before you stitch, some folks do that to make it easier, especially if you are working on a really large project. Um, usually it's like every 10 stitches or so, you put a line through, you kind of baste it through. This is basically feels like a little bit um, thin fishing wire. So it's very, very easy to pull out once you're done. Um, it doesn't stick into your, uh, your, your fabric that you're using. So by gridding your fabric, it makes it easier to stay on track with your cross stitch so that um, it makes it less likely that you will miscount. Um, so that's what this is for. And then we've got some, some fabric in here. The basalt uh, pink and white is back. The charcoal, unfortunately, is still out of stock, so that's not in here. Um, this is the 20 count oatmeal Ada is in here. And I think that's all for what's in here. All right. We've got two more. This down here is a really big box, so I'm not going to pull it up here. Um, but this is from Zip It. Uh, and these are the little project bags. So these are, um, they are sold as pencil cases, but I have found them to be fantastic project bags, especially for um, sashiko, English paper piecing, um, anything that they don't really fit hoops because they're, um, they're not that big vertically but for anything uh, small that's more portable, they work great. So this is the Essentials bag. And this one has one large compartment in here. And then on this side, it has um, a little Velcro pocket and a little elastic pocket. I keep, I keep Sashiko projects in all of these that I'm about to show you. Um, but what I do with this little extra flap, I actually hook my sashiko thimble through here. Um, and then um, my marking pens is what I keep uh, in here. And then in these pockets, I keep um, like my needles. I tend to use this for my little um, thread scraps as I'm stitching. And then it's got this pocket in the front, which is where I stick the pattern instructions or the pattern cover that comes with the sampler that I'm working on. So this is the essentials bag. Then, and that one at this point, I there, they are um, starting to not produce all the colors that I used to have. I think I still have I, this. There's gray in this box, and I think I still have some black over there, um, but I can't really get that in a lot of different colors anymore. This is their half and half bag, um, and in here you've got three different pockets. I love the zippers on these bags. It's got this really nice big ring, so it's really easy to hook your finger in there and open them. The front pocket has a clear vinyl front, so it's very easy to see what's in here. Um, I usually keep my sampler up here, and then the second pocket is just a nice big pocket, um, and this is usually where I keep my threads. And then the back pocket has all of the 
kind of storage um, mesh pouch and then all of the loops again for keeping marking pens. You can stick scissors in here. You can stick, like I said, the thimbles through here. So all sorts of things fit in here. Um, so that's that one. And then the last style is the, uh, what, the open mouth, the Lenny pouch. And these I love um, when I'm in the car. So it's, it's this big. Um, and then again, nice big zipper loop. But what's great is that it has this metal frame here around the zipper, so it stays open. So when I'm in the car and this is sitting on my lap, it becomes like a nice little bin. Um, so it makes it really easy for grabbing my supplies out of here when I'm in kind of a limited space. Um, so these are the Lenny wide mouth pouches. So um, in this box, there is those three kinds of bags in different colors. This is the teal, this is the yellow, um, I also was able to get some of these in the magenta pink. Um, these I was able to get in a bunch of different colors. Um, that's my favorite project bag, and I have many. I do too. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I have I have projects in all three of these. Um, I use them a ton for for sashiko, but I know um, several customers use them for um, hand quilting supplies, for English paper piecing, um, anything that has like lots of little pieces that you want to take with you. Um, and their size is really great, so they fit really easily. Um, I'm a big lounge fly fanatic, and so I have several lounge fly backpacks, and that's what I usually carry around as my purse. And these fit really nicely into those little mini backpacks. Um, fits very, very easily. So, all right. The last set of boxes is, again, another huge um, couple of boxes. They're too big for me to pull up here. But what's in here is... A restock from the crafty kit company in um, Scotland so these are the needle felting kits and the wool felt crafting kits this is the little honeybee honey beehive set um, these kits are so much fun if you have never tried needle felting it's really easy to get into it's a lot of fun to do these kits have everything that you need to try it out it comes with all of the wool the instructions, the needles, even um, the little pad for you to needle felt onto, all of that is in here. And they're very, very generous with the supplies that they give you. Um, my daughter uh, was really curious about this. I think she saw it on TikTok somewhere. Um, and she, uh, so she tried making the Christmas jumper um, and loved it. She has had so much fun doing that. Um, my sister has made the Nordic gnomes of these and also rave reviews. And like I said, they give you lots of wool in there so you can make, you can very easily make the design that's in here and you'll probably have wool left over to make something else um, or to add to your wool collection. So this is a restock of several of the kits. Um, the beehive kit is in here. Let's see what else is in here. There's a couple of new kits that aren't up on the site yet. Um, like this sunflower. So this is a kit to make this beautiful wool felt sunflower. It includes all the wool felt sheets and it even has the uh, floral wire in here so that you can actually make a flower that will stand up in a vase. And so those are super cute. Um, there's also a poppy um, is in here. We've got the mushrooms on the log. Uh, that's in here. The little Easter egg is in here, which I think would be super duper sweet. Um, so you get the, the white is the inside, that's how you build your egg, and then you use all of the color wools to decorate your egg on the outside. Um, <laughs> I've said it many, many times over the years, I have a very strong dislike for plastic Easter eggs. They drive me crazy. Um, they're like worse than Legos. <laughs> when my kids were around, we'd find them all over the house. You'd step on them. It was really annoying. So I, long, many years ago, um, I switched over to wooden eggs with my kids for Easter. Um, and I'm always looking for kind of alternatives for Easter projects, decoration that don't involve those plastic eggs. So when I saw this kit, I was like, that is a great Easter idea is to sit and make these. Um, with children, you need to supervise them. The needles for needle felting are really, really sharp. So you don't want to leave a child unsupervised doing needle felting, but it would be a really fun. It's something that kids can do very easily though, if you're there with them, watching them and being very careful. Um, 
all right so that is what is in the rest of that box and that's what I have um, in here right now let's see what else is on its way um, we've got a restock coming from week style works is on its way uh, we have more of the book rings and the laying tools should be here soon um, Oh my goodness. Oh, what's coming? The new Sashiko colors from Olympus. Those are being released into the U.S. I heard next week um, is when they should be arriving in the U.S. and then should hopefully be getting over here within the next week or two. Um, Olympus has released 24 new colors. They are expanding their, um, the 100 meter line has gotten, I think it's eight new colors. The um, Awai Iro, the pastels, they are adding five more colors onto that line. And then um, they're releasing the brand new Lame line, which is the metallic Sashiko thread. Um, and by metallic, it's not a fully metallic uh, thread. It's the cotton thread that has a metallic filament woven into it. So it gives your project more of like a sparkle rather than a full on metallic um, shine. I'm really excited to stitch with those. I've seen a couple examples of it used and it's the way that I like to use metallics. I like to use metallics as just kind of a little pop. Um, and that's exactly what it looks like in where you kind of, you know, you move your sampler and it'll kind of shimmer in the sunlight. Um, so there are 10, either 10 or 12 um, new colors in that Lame line. So those are on their way. They should be here very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to work on getting all the pictures um, listed up in the site so you can start browsing the colors. And then as soon as that box arrives, um, you, they will be here for you. Um, so that's on its way. The uh, brand new Wonderfill, I'm going to be carrying the entire Wonderfill um, size 8 variegated. That cabinet um, should be here very soon. Um, so that'll be 100 new colors of the um, variegated pearl cotton thread. Um, yeah, there's a lot that's <laughs> on its way. I'm kind of blanking on what else is there. But um, yeah, so that's what's going on here. Uh, next open studio is February 25th. Uh, we, if you are an open studio fan and you come by um, during those days, by February 25th, um, it's gonna look pretty different in here. We're gonna be removing things around, um, reorganizing things to make room for all these kind of larger things that are that are on their way and I'm very excited to see. So. So there you go. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I hope you're all uh, have a wonderful weekend. I can't believe we're already in February. Enjoy um, your weekend. I hope it's relaxing. Everything uh, that I showed you here this morning is already up on the website, so you can head over there and uh, take a look at it more closely if you'd like, take a look at the photos. Um, and as ever, if you ever have any questions, reach out, feel free to email is usually the fastest way. Um, but send me a message and then I'm happy to answer them. So, all right, friends, I will see you again um, next week, hopefully with some new exciting things. All right, take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.